Memory is not only vital for the human mind to function, but also for technology. Many electronic devices rely on digital memory to compute and store data. The speed and capacity of random access memory has increased significantly over the years. But there is one drawback. The digital information contained in these devices needs to be constantly refreshed in order to be maintained, which is not energy efficient. In their recent publication in Advanced Functional Materials, Sankara Mangalam Ulhas Sharat and Lambert Alf from Darmstadt University of Technology, Germany, and their co-workers report how to control the switching modes and conductance quantization of hafnium oxide-based memristive devices. Oxide-based resistive switching random access memory is one of the hot candidates for such future non-volatile memory. However, we are still not understanding enough the material physics of the switching process itself. Therefore, we take semiconducting technology as an example. They have learned a lot about defects in semiconducting materials to make the big success of semiconducting devices. We use reactive molecular beam epitaxy to change the oxygen stoichiometry in a resistive random access memory device. This results in the reproducible synthesis of metallic hexagonal close-packed hafnium oxide, oxygen-deficient tetragonal hafnium oxide, and stoichiometric monoclinic hafnium dioxide. By changing the oxygen stoichiometry in a hafnium oxide-based RAM device using platinum and tin electrodes, we are able to identify the different resistive switching modes and its dependence on oxygen stoichiometry. Amazingly, all previously reported switching modes can be stabilized in the same device configuration if the oxygen vacancy concentration is varied accordingly. A qualitative model shows that in stoichiometric monoclinic hafnium dioxide, the higher electroforming voltage breaks a large number of hafnium oxygen bonds, creating stronger filaments and accumulating more oxygen ions at the titanium nitride interface. Oxygen deficient tetragonal hafnium oxide already possesses a homogeneous oxygen vacancy distribution, allowing the onset of filament formation at much lower fields and with fewer oxygen ions accumulating at the titanium nitride interface. We also find that quantum conductance states can be better stabilized by tuning the oxygen stoichiometry in the hafnium oxide based RN device. Considering oxygen ion transport by the electric field and by dual heating results in a model accounting for all occurring switching modes. According to this model, the stabilization of quantum conductance states is caused by reduced thermally driven ionic or vacancy motion in tetragonal non-stoichiometric hafnium oxide. To learn more about switching mode control of hafnium oxide-based memristive devices, please visit the Advanced Functional Materials homepage. <laughs>